A federal prosecutor called it the latest scourge. Crystal methamphetamine arriving in Michigan cities, oftentimes sent through the mail. A recent West Michigan case involved several pounds sent here from Arizona. 13 on your side's John Hogan is here now to explain more about the growing problem of meth through the mail. John. Well, investigators say Marsha Lee Harris is but one example of this ongoing problem. Now it's a growing concern for state and federal prosecutors, and it's keeping postal inspectors busy. A very powerful amount of drugs can be in a very small package. And so that opens up the opportunity for a lot of drugs to get delivered through this now very reliable mail system. U.S. Attorney Andrew Byrd says more drugs are being sent through the mail. During the 2018 fiscal year, police and postal inspectors seized nearly 97,000 pounds of mailed narcotics, including methamphetamine and marijuana. I would say probably 40% of all the narcotics prosecution cases we bring, there has been some degree and some involvement of using uh, the mail system. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker says his office has also seen a surge in methamphetamine cases and it is no longer the homed cooked variety. We don't see the meth pots, we don't see the manufacture meth, it's all imported from out of state. Marshall Lee Harris came on police radar more than a year ago when an informant linked him to large-scale meth trafficking in Metro Grand Rapids. Arizona is a source state. Police say Harris went there several times last fall and used self-serve postal kiosks in Tempe and Glendale to mail packages back to his home address in Hudsonville. Again, it's cheap too. Uh, to ship a small package. Drug dealers rely on mail services because it is a relatively inexpensive and reliable way to move product over long distances. And you can have uh, the company itself track your package for you so you don't have to rely on the mule for that. Police in November got a search warrant for a package mailed from Phoenix to Harris's address in Hudsonville. It yielded more than 12 pounds of crystal methamphetamine. Harris was indicted a few days later. And we uh, uh, do actually try to intercede as much as possible. The federal charge against Harris has him facing a minimum of 10 years and up to life in prison. We need to get that deterrent message out. We need to hold those individuals accountable. Now, Marshall Harris remains in federal custody while his case works its way through court. Juliet? Thank you.